Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. I'm Angie and this is Our Contented Home. Today's video is going to be a fun one. It includes thrifted frames, art from Etsy, and a little space in my home that needed a little TLC to make it cozy and beautiful. So I hope y'all enjoy the video. This is the space that I'm working on today. It's just a little area in our family room right beside our built-ins. I did bring this vintage bucket from our last house and thought I wanted to use it here, but it's not enough contrast with all the woods that's going on in this room. So I know that I wanna add art to the walls. And so I'm going to incorporate my love of art and my love of thrifting and see if I can make this space a little bit more cozy and beautiful. I recently discovered this shop on Etsy. It's called Looking Artsy. And there are pages and pages of beautiful prints that you can incorporate into your home. One of the things that I try to do on my YouTube channel is to show you how you can have a beautiful home and decorate it on a budget. One of the things I like to incorporate in my home is art, and art can get really expensive. So right now, Looking Artsy is offering my YouTube family a 70% off discount of anything in their shop. You can use the code HOME70OFF or you can use my link in the description box below and the 70% off discount will be applied automatically to anything you buy in their shop. So check out their shop, look at their beautiful prints and choose something that you can add to your home to make it beautiful on a budget. This is the print that I chose from Looking Artsy to use in my room makeover. And I think this is perfect for spring and Easter because of the sheep. I love that they're in the meadow and I especially love that you can see the shepherd in the distance. And one of the fun things to me about decorating with art that you buy from Etsy is you can change it out with the seasons or the holiday or whatever. And you're not just bound to one print. You can just print out a new picture and put it in your frame and you have new art and you've only spent a few dollars on it. And what I do is I always just print these pictures out on my home printer. And this is an eight by 10 size. If I need anything bigger, I always take it to a store that can print it bigger for me. And it doesn't cost that much money to have it printed. And then that way you can frame it in the frame of your choice. What I want to do with this is make it look like a vintage oil painting. So I'm going to use Mod Podge and I've shared this technique on my channel before, but all you do is just take a little Mod Podge and just paint it all over your picture. And you don't have to worry about anything being perfect. And actually the more imperfect you are, the better it turns out in my opinion, but you just, paint it all over you can glob it up you know how a vintage oil painting it just has all these brush strokes in it that you can see and that's what adding the mod podge will do and you'll see when i finish how it turns out but you just keep doing this all over your print until it's completely covered and then you can set it aside and let it dry This is what it looks like after I've applied the Mod Podge. And you can see that I applied more Mod Podge in some areas and less in other. And there's really no rhyme or reason to this. You just add more where you would like and less where you would like. But you can tell in the spaces where I added more Mod Podge, it will take longer for that area to dry. And so I left mine overnight to dry. I'll be using a thrifted picture frame to put my print in today and I'm going to be using the black one but I want this to match the other finishes in my room so I'm going to make this look like antique brass. I've shared this technique on my YouTube channel before but with this I'm going to use rub and buff and since the frame is already dark I can just put the rub and buff over that. So what I start doing first is I take the frame completely apart so I take the back out and I remove the glass so that I just have the frame to work with. Mm -hmm. 
After the frame is completely taken apart, I just wipe it down with a wet paper towel and just make sure it's clean. Then I apply my rub and buff. I'll put a link in the description box below to the color that I use on this frame, but I really love all the colors of rub and buff. And you just paint it on with a brush, just all over, and you just do that until it's covered. I like to go light in some areas and then darker in some areas because the patina on antique brass is like that. You can see some of the dark shining through. And so it's just kind of trial and error. I just paint it on. But one thing about it is when you put this rub and buff on, it's there to stay. So keep that in mind when you're using rub and buff. And then the most important step after you apply your rub and buff is to buff it. And this takes it from looking like a DIY to a professional looking frame. So you want to make sure that you take a paper towel and just buff the whole thing. It gets all the chunks out of the rub and buff and it just makes it smooth and it gives it a little bit of shine like antique brass would have. This is what my frame looks like after I have applied the rub and buff and it's also been buffed. And I love how this looks. You could add more, you could add less. It's just a preference to what you like your frame to look like. The next step for my project was to cut some of this border off of the edge of my print so that it would fit better in my frame. And then I put my print into my frame and then put everything back together. One of the first things I'm going to do for this space is change out the light switch cover. And right now these are an off-white color, but I want all my finishes to be the same. So I'm going to change them out to a beautiful antique brass cover. And this is one thing you can do to your room to upgrade it, and it doesn't cost a lot of money or time to do this. I found these plates at an estate sale recently and I have a video showing you that whole thrift haul and I'll link it below in case you're interested in seeing that. But I wanted to use one of these above my print just to give it a little more color and texture. So I ran to the store and I always hang my plates with these little discs and I have a video showing you how I do that. I'll link that below as well. But these just hang on the wall and you can't see anything from the plate. It's just a seamless look. But you could also use these plate hangers. Either one works well, but I just prefer the disc. And so I just wash my plate really well, make sure there's no sticky residue on it at all, and then dry it really well. And then you just take your disc and you wet it and it's got glue on it and it just adheres to the plate. And then the directions say to let it sit for 24 hours, so I did let mine sit overnight. I 
put this table here for the time being, but I am on the hunt for the perfect piece for this space. I love how my room came together and I love how that one piece of art just added that cozy element that I wanted in that room. Be sure to check out the link in my description box for Looking Artsy and when you click that link you can save 70% off anything in the shop. I hope this video has inspired you to look at your space in a whole new light and know that you can decorate your home on a budget and make it beautiful. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will know when a new video is released. And also give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.